All right, Jesse on Fire, welcome back to the channel. Now, let me tell you guys a little something. We're about to do a Fabia video, son. About to do a Fabia video, son. Fabia video. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Also, you guys should hear a dramatic improvement in my audio. I'm making strides on this channel. Right when I figure out audio, like where it's really going to sound good, Fabia just shows his, he just, he popped up out of the ground and was like, hey, Jesse, what, what was your video going to be on this Saturday? I bet you it's not going to be better than doing one about me blackmailing Diego for $100,000 and convincing him that I'm a contract killer that might kill him and his family. I bet you it's not that good. I'm like, you're fucking goddamn right it's not that good. Let's do this, son. Let's do this. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. Because here's the thing. Diego made a statement uh, yesterday that uh, is uh, requires a video like this. It just does. Now, some of you guys might not be aware if you came afterwards, but the way this channel blew up, okay? So the way this channel blew up in April and May of last year, I had about, I don't know, I had been doing this for almost exactly a year, about 7,000 subscribers. And then the whole Fabia and Diego thing happened. And I did a series of videos that completely blew up. I was the one who found the OnlyFans. I was, you know, so... Fabia has a special place in my heart. And, uh, but Diego's actually my boy now. Me and Diego talk all the time. We were talking on Instagram. We were talking on, uh, on DM and through text messages the whole time he was in the hospital. Diego's my man. So Diego, consider this me defending you against this little, tiny little creep. This little creepazoid who has somehow convinced you that he's dangerous. He's not dangerous, dude. He's not dangerous, okay? Now, we're gonna get into it. Now, before actually, you know what? Before we even get into that, let me say this. Diego did great at Eagle FC yesterday. I thought he handled himself with class. He sounded smart. He's coming off this incredibly embarrassing situation that happened with the UFC with like, you know, all of a sudden, you know, he's like, I like, it was like his life was like a pool, right? His life was a pool and it was filled with people that loved him. And then this tiny little guy jumped in. He had like, you know, he had those things on his arms that help him, you know, float. Remember those little things that people put on? So this new guy was wearing those things and he was like, hey, hey, you get out of the pool. And it's like Diego's like best friend. They're all, who the hell are you? He's all, get out of the pool, man. He's like, why are you wearing those floaties? Don't look at my floaties. Get out of the pool. This is Diego's life. You gotta go. And he's like, Diego, do I need to go? And Diego's like, Diego, can you hear me? And he's out of the pool. And they just systematically kicked everyone out of the pool. Like every abusive relationship goes, right? He, uh, 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 you're making me do this to you. I hate when you make me do these things to you. <laughs> Why? I don't want to do this to you. <sighs> the next day, I'll never do it again. I won't. But don't call your mom. Don't call your mom anymore. She doesn't love you. She doesn't love you like I do. So everyone's out of the pool. It's just Josh. You know, the whole world got to see this, you know, kind of weird thing. Josh ruined his, you know, the, the, the finale fight at UFC, which would have been amazing. He ruined everything right? So Diego's coming off that. And then everybody's like, he has CTE, dude. Why are you going to let him fight in Eagle FC? First of all, shut up. Okay. I like, let's, you know what? I take that back. If you are genuinely concerned about his health, cool. If you're not, and you're just doing this because it sounds like a thing to do, shut up. Okay. Diego wants to fight and Diego sounded very intelligent, you know, at the press conference. Now I'm not saying that he should risk his health to fight, but if he wants to fight and he feels good, doctors clear him, he sounds smart. Let's not throw rocks at the guy, you know, because again, at the, at the press conference, I thought he did really, really well. And he did great in the interviews too. He handled some tough questions, handled them very well. So good job, Diego. Now I am going to eviscerate your little buddy for the next 20 minutes. All right. So let's read the, uh, the statement that Diego made, which has, uh, conjured this brilliant, you know, subsequent about to be brilliant video. So Diego Sanchez, this was yesterday. It was never CTE. My heart was broken. I lost my faith in Jesus, became open to everything, including a false prophet mentor, Joshua Fabia, and his ideas of a different reality. Now, I want to just point out a few things as we read this. He said mentor. I just like, I mean, obviously this, because it's going to come into the play later. Um, Fabia and his ideas of a different reality. I went all the way down the rabbit hole, looked at my soul and ripped it out and all the demons working for Lucifer and cried to Jesus for forgiveness, told him I never gave up on him, just became open to everything else, asked him to please save me from this man. At this point, I was like a slave to mental manipulation. The next day, Fabia said to me, he can no longer do it for me anymore and basically blackmailed me to pay him out $100,000. At this point, money was nothing compared to freedom. Okay, so real quick, I just want to point this out. Diego just framed getting blackmailed for $100,000 as something awesome that he prayed for. Diego, that was not a good thing, okay? 
That was not a good thing. He blackmailed you out of a hundred grand. You are a retired fighter. That's insanely fucked up. Like insanely fucked up. You need to go get that fucking money back. You should take it directly out of his ass. Okay. We'll get to that. Uh, I paid him and was happy to, it was the best hundred grand I ever spent. I disagree, my man. (laughs) I disagree. Now I cover myself and my family in the blood of Jesus, knowing there's basically a private contractor with the skills to kill out there living as a ghost who thinks I ruined his school of self-awareness cults life's work. But in the end, he was just a man that needed Jesus also. And as a man, he made his own decisions, yada, yada, yada. Last thing that made that was notable. He said he tells the truth to everyone who asks, even about the Russian whip healing. Okay, so Russian whip healing. Let's... uh. Let's start there, okay? So if you want to know what a person is going to do in life, right? Like you meet a person and you're trying to gauge them. You know, you're trying to gauge like, what's this guy going to do? Or what's this, what's she going to do? Let's use a girl as an example. So you've been dating a girl for six months. You love her. You love her. She's incredible. She fixes you dinner. She's nice all the time. She lets you do whatever she wants to you. She's a freak in the sheets, but you know, she's a lady in the streets or whatever, Right? And then you find out that the way her last relationship ended was she cheated on her dude. And then you find out that prior to that, she was married. She never told you that. But the way that she ended up getting divorced was she got caught sleeping with her dude's best friend, right? And you, but you know her now. Like you've been together for six months. This is a different person. And she tells you, I need you to understand that's the old me. I would never do that now. I I never felt the way that I feel about you, about any of them. This is different and I've changed. I'm older. I would never, ever let a man put his schlong in the places I let you do it. I would never do that. I would never let a man hit with his schlong anywhere near me ever again. I don't ever want to touch another man. I don't ever. You are all the man I'll ever need. She's a lying bitch that's going to cheat on you. She might not even realize it, okay? Like, she might not realize it. She might mean all of those things, but she is going to drink some other dude. Bet your goddamn life on that because that's what she did before. You can bet your life what people will do based on what they've done before. People don't change, not that much. They might change their behavior a little bit, but things like that, you're like, yeah, no, she's a person that if given the opportunity, I mean... It just is what it is, man. You can't change her. So like with Josh Fabia, you know, you look at his past behavior, you're like, so you created an OnlyFans behind Diego's back and sold sexualized pictures of him without him knowing and then didn't tell him. You did that, right? He used the word mentor about you, by the way. He considered you a mentor and you did that. Also, Russian whip healing. Well, I've seen a video of him blindfolding Diego and beating the shit out of his head while he was upside down. So I'm guessing that maybe Russian whip healing had something to do with restraining Diego so he couldn't defend himself and then Josh beating the shit out of him and then telling him that this is good for him. Would be my guess, right? Would be my guess. You know, just like the abusive, you know, the abusive husband. Why are you making me do this to you? Why are you making me do this to you? I'll never do it again. Except this is even worse because he's convincing him he's doing it for his own good. You know, it's like, I don't like doing this. I don't like doing this to you. This is for your own good and you're going to be better off because of it. (laughs) Don't call your mom. Don't call your mom. Don't call your mom. Your mom has always been out to get you and she hates me. She's a bad person. Don't call your mom. So uh, there's that. Now, the blackmail. What do you think he has on Diego? Because let me remind you guys of an of a incident that you may have forgotten about. So remember when Diego first cut ties with Josh and then the next day, Fabio went on Summer Helene's show and was like, just so everyone's clear, I was Diego's sponsor and he's a drug addict. I want everyone to know he's addicted to Kratom. And also, <laughs> he was molested as a kid. Yeah, because this doesn't reflect poorly on me at all because someone getting molested, that's totally my story to tell. Like when a person tells you that another person got molested and they're saying it on a nationally televised show, that's, that's normal, right? Like that's a thing that people do, right? Like that's, that's your story to tell. Okay. Then I believe he said something about steroids, uh, that he lost all his money. He basically vomited every single secret that he knew about Diego. So here's my thing. Hey, Diego, if you gave him a hundred grand, go get your fucking money back. Okay. What'd you buy? You didn't buy his, you, you, he, 
He's going to come back. If he actually has any actual blackmail, he's going to come back. And you want to know why? Because you know what people are going to do based on their past behavior. He's a bad person. He's a predator. He's a piece of shit. He's a liar. He's trash. He is tiny trash though. He's a tiny little trash bag. Fabia, did you blackmail Diego? No, that money was owed to me. Really? Why was it owed to you? Because of all the work that I did with Diego. Oh, you didn't get paid? You didn't get paid your manager's fee? What? You didn't get paid your manager's fee? He wasn't paying you throughout? He wasn't covering all the bills? None of that? I don't owe you any explanations. You couldn't possibly understand what I had done for him and what he, that was, that I, he got off cheap. He got off cheap. Listen here, dude. What are we going to do with you, Josh? What are we going to do with you? Get out of here. So the other thing Diego said was that uh, Josh Fabia is a trained killer contract killer who's living as a ghost and believes that Diego Sanchez ruined his school of self-awareness. Okay. So number one, in the event that there is any truth to that part, that Fabia thinks that uh, Diego ruined his school of self-awareness, I'm just going to address that. Believe me, we're going to get to the part about the contract killer. Believe me, we've got plenty to talk about there. But the thing about the, uh, you ruined the school of self-awareness. So here's the thing, buddy. Here's what actually happened. Diego was an amplifier for you, okay? So you had tested this school of self-awareness out on a bunch of fucking, like, uh, you know, people that are all, ah, you know, I do need a school of self-awareness. I can't figure out, like, why my brain is the way that it is. Oh, let me tell you, if people, if language doesn't do what we want it to do, then why do we use it? They're all, fuck, I've never thought about that. That's a fucking great point, Josh Fabia. Can you tell me what else? Oh, you need to look inside yourself. Why are you the way that you are? Wouldn't you rather be more like me? Mm-hmm. Yes, I would. He's like, I'm, I'm seeing such success with the school of self-awareness. <sighs> look at these guys. The only thing I need is I need, a, I need a big platform and then the whole world will follow. And it was like, so you use Diego as a platform so you could try to scale rapidly. Problem for you, Right. When you scale rapidly into a community like the mixed martial arts community, right? Like I know people think of uh, mixed martial arts community as like a bunch of dunderheads, right? Like a bunch of, bunch of fucking meat, a bunch of elk killing fucking meatheads, man. Fucking meatheads. What you actually have is a bunch of really street smart people, okay? You know, because when you're like, if you're one of those people that's kind of like, I should probably, you know, learn to defend myself. It's like, I see people as threats. Like consciously, I'm conscious there are predators out there. I should probably prepare myself for that. Like I should probably prepare myself for people who want to fuck me up so I can fuck them up instead if they try, right? That's the, that's the environment you're going into. So if you are a fucking lying, selfish little shit bag who has nothing real to say, we're going to sniff you out instantly, dude. You know? So what you did is you amplified yourself through Diego Sanchez and you got this big platform and everyone was like, oh, this guy's completely full of shit. And he just kicked everyone out of Diego's pool. We don't like him. We don't like this little fucker. And so uh, when we really found out what you did, like the OnlyFans you did behind his back and all that, people like me uh, who <laughs> see people like you coming 5,000 miles away took pleasure in blowing your little world up. Okay. So if you think Diego ruined your school of self-awareness, I would say there's someone much more visible who ruined your fucking school of self-awareness and you're looking at him now. So if you want to do some contract killing, what's up, dude? I'm your Huckleberry, okay? I ruined your school of self-awareness. Not Diego. I did that. I did that to you, okay? I did that. Only fans, Diego found out about that because of me because I did a video about it. I got 150,000 views. I did that to you. So... If you got a problem with anybody in their family, I'm not that hard to find. People know where ballpark where I live. If you're a contract killer, you live in like a ghost. How hard could I be to find, dude? Probably not very fucking hard. So bring it. Let's see what happens. You know, I can see like he would like, he breaks in my house. He's like a little rumple still skin. He's like this big. I'm like, hold still, hold still. He's like, boo, 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 boo. I'm like, Jesus, he's getting closer. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. And then the next thing you know, he slices my Achilles. I'm like, oh, Oh, yeah. Who's not a contract killer now? You're a contract killer, Rumpelstiltskin. My name's Fabia. Fabia, don't do it. I've got kids. I don't give a shit about your kids. I want you to go on YouTube and say I'm a big boy. What? You said 
nasty things about me on YouTube. I want you to say that I'm big boy. That's really what you want? Yes. All right, you're a big boy. No, on YouTube. You want me to go on YouTube and say you're a big boy? I'm a big boy. Okay. So can you call the ambulance? Like you cut my Achilles, man. I didn't want to have to do it, man. I didn't want to have to do it, but you know, it's just what I do. I'm a contract killer and you ruined my school of self-awareness. So your Achilles had to go. You're going to make a YouTube video. I'm not going to do a YouTube video, dude. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. You're not a big boy. You're a little guy. You're a tiny little man with a tiny little man's complex and your little Rumpelstiltskin jumping bean routine didn't really work. This is a made up story. You're way too slow. I'd shoot you in the face if you were in my car. What, what is happening? That went off the rails. Um, but yeah, you also could be like, you're all, jo- hey, so Josh, do you really have the skills to kill? What? I can't hear you. What? Speak up your tiny little vocal cords. I can't fucking hear you. Oh, okay. Tell me about your skills to kill. Oh, you do? Ooh, that is scary. That is really scary. <laughs> Get out of my ear, you little killer. Get out of here. Uh, so yeah, Diego, you do not need to be afraid of Josh Fabia. That's fucking ludicrous. Okay. He's not going to kill you. If he should kill anybody, it should be me. And look at, I am terrified. I am scared for my life. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to say. I think that's probably enough. Right. So Diego, seriously, get that fucking money back, dude. He robbed you of that money. That wasn't freedom money. You didn't owe him any money to be free. All you had to do is just Cut him out of your life. That's it. Okay. He's going to come back. If he really has dirt on you, he's going to come back. He's a fucking weasel. You know that for sure. Just like the girl who fucked her fucking husband's dudes. She's going to fuck another guy. He's coming back, dude. If he's really got dirt on you. If he does, beat him within an inch of his life. Uh, don't, don't, uh, don't do that, YouTube. YouTube. Don't do that. Don't do that, YouTube. But do that. <clears throat> um, yeah. Contract killer. <laughs> I am scared. 